Good morning. Welcome to another beautiful day in paradise. Today we're at the cemetery here in Krivitz with some old friends long since past to talk about death and what comes after, why it comes after, and what we can do to ensure our place with God in eternity and the place of those that we love. And we're going to do so by first looking at a tragic account in the life and ministry of Jesus. Uh, in Matthew chapter 27, the account of Judas taking his own life. Beginning at verse 1. Early in the morning, all the chief priests and the elders of the people made their plans how to have Jesus executed. So they bound him, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate the governor. When Judas, who had betrayed him, saw that Jesus was condemned, he was seized with remorse and returned the thirty silver pieces to the chief priests and the elders. I have sinned, he said, for I have betrayed innocent blood. Well, what is that to us? They replied, that's your responsibility. So Judas threw the money into the temple and left. Then he went away and hanged himself. Judas feels terrible about what he has done because he liked Jesus. They were friends. And perhaps even on some level, humanly speaking, he loved Jesus. But that was not faith. He loved Jesus. And so perhaps he thought that, like so many times before, when Jesus was confronted with his enemies, he'd simply walk through, walk away. Not this time. When he sees that Jesus is going to die, he feels terrible about what he has done. And he doesn't know what to do about it. He liked Jesus, maybe even loved Jesus, but he didn't trust Jesus. Jesus had said so many times how he was coming to give his life as a ransom for many, to take away the guilt of all mankind, to take away Judas' guilt. But that's something Judas didn't trust. Maybe he forgot it. Maybe he just didn't believe it. And so when guilt plagues him, he doesn't know where to turn. Now, he makes a good decision. He goes back to the chief priest and, and confesses his guilt. Um, I say it's a good decision because the chief priest, the priests, had one job, one job to do. In all of the Old Testament, their job was to proclaim the forgiveness of God, whether it was through the words of the Bible, the Psalms, as far as the East is from the West, so far has he, God, taken our transgressions from us. Or with every sacrifice given, painting that picture of somebody who would come and take the blame for what we have done. Their one job was to proclaim forgiveness. And it's that proclamation of forgiveness which gives birth to faith, which strengthens faith. For Judas to hear that, that promise of forgiveness may have changed everything but it wasn't given to him. It had been by God, but at this moment, when he's at his darkest, it is deprived of him. And he ends his own life in despair. It's tragic because his sin was paid for by Jesus just as much as everybody else's. And the point in this that we can take away um, is that we all sin. And there are going to be moments when we find ourselves in despair. Where do we turn? I pray it's at moments like that that we have a friend who can say to us, Jesus has taken your sin away, who can speak those words which will fan into flame that faith that God has given to us, remind us that we have been forgiven, remind us of where we belong, so that when death comes, it will not be a tragedy. When death comes, it will be a reason to rejoice. And death will come to us all. You can uh, run from it. You can be afraid of it. You can even curse it, but it's going to come when it comes. Pray that we have that faith in God that knows we will pass over into life, that we will be held by him into eternity. And it's up to us to remind each other of that when those dark moments come, when, when faith begins to wane, to tell one another, God has forgiven you. God loves you. God holds on to you. Your guilt is removed and he will never let you go. When you need that, I pray you have a friend. Maybe it'll be me. When I need that, I pray I have a friend, maybe it'll be you, who says those words and reminds us of where we stand with God. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for your continuing promise of forgiveness. We ask that you open our ears to hear it, open our hearts to trust it, so that we never doubt where we stand with you and allow us to be your voice. Allow us to share your salvation, your forgiveness with those who need to hear it, so that, that no one may despair and that all of your children may find rest in you. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless your day.